Hello and welcome back to Beckler Guitars and Repair and today we're going to be checking out a Dean Zielinski Taglier. Let's have a look. So yeah, it comes in this really nice case. It's kind of like a Fender Tweed style case. It's got nice uh, clasps on there. And it comes with a really nice like velvet shroud here. It looks great. And uh, yeah, the guitar. So if you're not familiar with uh, Dean Zielinski, he actually started Dean Guitars in 1977. And then he left Dean Guitars uh, due to a contract issue or something like that. And then he started uh, DBZ Guitars in 2008. And then I'm not sure what happened with that company, but he now owns a company called uh, Dean Zielinski Private Label Guitars, and they started in 2012. So these guitars have some really unique things going on and the only way you can buy one of these guitars is directly through the website so they don't uh, sell to retailers and this model is called the uh, Taglier and this is more of their mid-range model so I couldn't find anywhere on the internet that told me where this guitar was made uh, I know their super high-end models are made in the USA in Chicago but I couldn't figure out where these mid-range models were manufactured. So I went ahead and I called Dean Zaliski guitars themselves. And I spoke with one of the techs there. And apparently on these mid-range models, um, they get the bodies and the necks from India, from a factory. Um, but they do all of the fret work. So they put in all the frets themselves in Chicago. Um, they do all the engraving in Chicago. So... We'll get into that because this thing has a thing called a Z-Glide neck, which is an engraved neck. So they do that in Chicago and they do the finishing in Chicago as well. So basically the only thing they're getting from India is just the uh, the body and the neck. And they do all the finish work and set up themselves in Chicago. All right, so specs, we've got two single coils, a uh, single coil in the neck, single coil in the middle. And the bridge is a humbucker. Now this is uh, Dean Zielinski's own um, brand of pickup. This one's called the Sidekick. And this one's a little different than normal humbuckers uh, that you can split. So normally a uh, humbucker is it's two single coil pickups. And then when you split that pickup, it's just half of a, a humbucker. And you lose a little bit of volume and uh, the ohm reading is about half when you split it. Apparently what's special about this pickup is when you split it, it retains uh, the volume, so you don't get any volume drop, and it retains the ohm reading. So um, basically when you split it, something about the wiring makes it into a true single coil rather than just a splitted uh, humbucker. So that's kind of interesting. We've got a five-way pickup selector. We've got a two-point trim, which looks nice. And we've got a really nice uh, quilted maple top, which looks great. I'm not sure how thick it is, but it looks like it's a pretty thick to deal with the, the contour and the carving. And the body itself is alder. Um, so yeah, there's our pickup split in the back there. So I, that just affects that bridge position. Then we've got a really nice, thick rosewood fingerboard. We've got uh, medium jumbo frets with uh, acrylic diamond inlays and then it looks like it doesn't look like bone it looks like it's like a tusk style nut and then we've got a maple neck um, with locking tuners which is nice and this is another patented thing from Dean Zielinski guitars it's called the Z glide neck so basically this is an engraved neck and the whole point of it is, is that uh, you have less contact with actual wood because a lot of it is engraved um, and recessed. So when you're moving your hand, only about 30% of the neck is actually touching your hand. The rest is uh, air. <laughs> 
And it's supposed to just um, not be as sticky. It reduces friction. It's supposed to feel really smooth. And uh, yeah, it's kind of an interesting idea. So we're going to check that out and see how it is. And then, yeah, bolt-on neck. And there is our tremolo cavity. So, all right, let's go ahead and get it on the bench and get some specs. It's a wing in at just under eight pounds, seven pounds, 14.8 ounces. So here are the pickup readings. So in the bridge position, I'm getting a 9.60. So let's go ahead and split it. So this is the sidekick. So normally when you split a humbucker, it equals it into about a half of the reading. So um, this sidekick is not supposed to do that. So we should get a different reading. Let's check it out. And there you go. Yeah, so it's still reading a 7.43. So that is uh, a little bit different than, you know, most humbuckers. That's pretty cool. And that's uh, their proprietary pickup called the Sidekick. So that's, that's interesting. Uh, the neck pickup is reading a 6.35. And the middle pickup is reading a 6.37. Uh, width at the nut is a 1.69 or a 43.09 millimeters and at the 12th fret a 2.01 or a 51.15 millimeters neck depth at the first fret is a 0.81 inches or a 20.65 millimeters and at the 12th fret a 0.859 inches or a 21.83 millimeters. On this model, the neck has a little bit of a lip that goes over top of the pick guard. So you actually have to remove the neck uh, to check under the pick guard. So I've done that, but let's have a look here. So there's a look at our electronics and our routes. So the routes are, it's a big swimming pool route here. Um, so yeah, you have a couple different options if you want to switch the pickups. You can pretty much do whatever you want here. There's enough room to put two humbuckers in there, or uh, you could do a humbucker in the back, and then uh, just like this one, two single coils or three single coils, or whatever you want. And here's a look at the electronics. We got some nice looking pickups with uh, nice cloth wiring. Those look quite high quality and we've got full-size pots um, and then we've got a mini pot for our uh, push-pull pot which is pretty standard and then kind of uh, an offshore five-way switch and the pick guard is shielded and the cavities are shielded as well uh, I did scrape away a little bit of the side because you can't really see if this is uh, how thick the top is on this. So I scraped away some of the side and the whole body is alder, but it looks like they're using just a veneer for the top here. And uh, how they can make the veneer on the top, uh, um, if it's contoured, is uh, usually the body is contoured first and then they'll put the veneer over top and it's kind of uh, pressed into form. So uh, this just has a very slight um, maple veneer on top. And here's a look at our neck pocket. It looks uh, routed nicely. It's nice and clean. Looks like they have one little wooden shim in there from the factory that I'm just going to leave. And again, you can see here that it's, it's alder all the way up to about here. And then just that thin veneer for the top. And then here's a look at our, our neck. It's got no uh, markings on it, neither does the neck pocket. And let's just uh, check the fit here. So yeah, pretty tight. You can't like lift it from the pressure of the neck or anything, but you can definitely feel some resistance. And there's not uh, any gaps on either side. So yeah, it's a nice fitting neck. And here's a look at our trim cavity. Looks pretty standard. Um, a cool thing about this though is it's recessed into the body. So when you have the cavity plate on, it's, it sits flush and uh, it doesn't sit proud on there, which is why a lot of strap players remove theirs because it kind of feels weird against your body when you're playing at that ridge. 
so that's not the case there. So that's that's cool. Uh, I'm gonna put a magnet on the trim to see if it uh, sticks here. And yeah, it does. So that means it's uh, a higher quality metal than some. Sometimes the potted metal doesn't, uh, magnets don't stick to it. So that's good. Let's look at the condition. So yeah, this guitar is pretty much near mint. I didn't notice hardly anything on it. Uh, it looks like it was barely played. So our headstock's in really nice condition. No scratches or dings anywhere. And let's check our truss rod here. So yeah, it's uh, nice and responsive, easy to adjust. And there's a look at our tusk nut. It looks well cut. And we've got a really nice fingerboard on this, nice dark rosewood. And the frets are super shiny and polished. They look really nice. And uh, yeah, no fret wear at all anywhere on this guitar. And yeah, the body's in really nice shape. No scratches or dings anywhere. I think if you hold it up to the light, you can see maybe a few handling marks or scuffs. But overall, really, really nice condition. And there's a better look at our Dean trim. It looks like it's a two-point trim. Seems nice and smooth. It's not making any weird noises when you use it, like thunks or clicks or anything like that. And then the back. Again, just really nice condition. The back is kind of uh, a wine red color. And then the top is more translucent. Uh, to show the uh, the quilt top. Looks like one little, maybe very small scratch there. And our recessed trim cavity. Uh, there's our bolt-on neck plate there with uh, the Dean Zielinski branding. And here's a better look at the Z-Glide. So yeah, an engraved pattern into the back of the neck where uh, it just reduces the amount of skin that is touching the neck. And uh, I haven't played it much, but once I get it set up and play it, I'll know a little bit more on how it feels. And these are our locking tuners, which seem to be pretty high quality. And our seal number. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing strung up and see what kind of a setup we can get on it. Managed to get a nice setup on this guitar, so you can see with my notch straight edge that there's very little space between the straight edge and the fingerboard, so that means the truss rod set nice and tightly. And then here in the third fret, when I use the third fret, you can see that the string is resting just against that first fret, so that tells us that the action is nice and low here because the truss rod is tight and the neck is nice and straight and our nut is cut well and then using the depth gauge at the 12th fret we can see that it is about a wool between 1.25 and 1.5 millimeters at the low e and at the high e it's just about one millimeter so yeah nice low action all right, now we're just checking to see if there's any fretting out or buzzing anywhere. I like to speed this part up, but if you want to hear it in real time, just slow down the player to 25%. So yeah, nice low action with no buzzing or fretting out anywhere. And uh, yeah, no uh, fret sprout at all on this guitar. It's super buttery smooth. And uh, the Z-Glide neck actually feels pretty good. You can definitely feel it. It feels like, uh, it feels like how it looks. <laughs> it looks like, it feels like there's a contoured back, um, kind of like a pattern, but it does feel very like smooth to move. And there's not any stickiness at all, so. I guess it works in that respect. It feels kind of good. A unique feature I noticed is that uh, this um, humbucker in the back is kind of slanted too. Um, I think that's to get better um, coverage by the strings over the pole pieces. So that's a nice little touch as well. 
All right, let's go ahead and plug this thing in and see how it sounds. All right, I'm plugged into my 1965 Fender Bassman and I'm using a Sonic Cake Levitate Reverb. And uh, here are my settings on the amp. And uh, okay. So yeah, that sounds really nice clean. Uh, I really like the pickups. They sound really, really nice, like a really high-end Strat. And I just want to show uh, how well the Trem keeps this guitar in tune. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, use it way harder than I ever would in real life. <laughs> So yeah, pretty well, perfectly in tune. So that's that's mm -hmm. a pretty impressive uh, trim system. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try it with a little bit of dirt. <laughs> Thank you. 
right, so what are my final thoughts on the Dean Zielinski uh, Taglier private label? It feels like a really, really nice Strat, and it's got a couple of features that you can't get anywhere else. Um, for example, this sidekick pickup, actually all the pickups sound great, but uh, in the split mode it really does sound like a proper single coil, and the way that they've wired that up is, uh, it is a proper th single coil. So. Instead of splitting a humbucker, you're actually just moving to a single coil pickup. And you can tell by the, the ratings of the pickups when you read them, it's not split in half, the signal. It actually jumps to like from a 9 to a, like a 7. So that's a really cool uh, pickup design. And uh, that's patented by Dean Zielinski. So that's uh, really cool. The other thing is the Z-Glide neck. It uh, takes a little getting used to. But there is something to it. It's, uh, it never gets sticky, no matter how like sweaty your hands get. My hands get pretty sweaty sometimes, and that does lead to some stickiness on the on the neck, especially a gloss neck. But uh, it might be a little gimmicky, but it does feel good. And there was no stickiness happening, and it felt nice and smooth. And it looks pretty cool, too. I mean, just kind of another it factor thing going for this guitar. And yeah, the fit and finish on this thing was perfect. I didn't see any finish flaws or any other issues. The fret work was really well done. Um, the edges were super smooth and the frets were nice and level and shiny and polished. And uh, seems like good quality materials. It's got a maple neck, a nice thick alder body. Again, the, the top is a, is a pretty thin veneer, but I mean, on a Strat, they're kind of known to be all alder bodies anyway, so it's not like a Les Paul where they're known to have a big thick maple top. This is just for looks and it's got a really nice piece of quilted maple on the top as well. And yeah, the nut was cut really well. I really like the trem system. It stayed in tune, great. I had no issues there. Uh, I found the trem had to be worked in a little bit. Like when I first started, I found it was going out of tune a little bit until I kind of worked it in. I don't think this guitar has been played much. So uh, after I worked it in a little bit, it stayed in tune a lot better. And uh, yeah, it looks really nice. It's kind of that deep wine red with the uh, quilted top, maple neck, and the fingerboard is a nice dark rosewood. It's nice and thick as well. And uh, yeah, it's got the same scale length as like a Strata 25.5 with like a, a 12 inch radius. Overall, I was quite impressed with this and I think they're, they're really nice guitars for the money. You also get the locking tuners, which is a, a nice Feature. Yeah, these guitars also come in a really nice hard shell case with a really nice shroud and uh, Yeah, if you uh, see one of these used I would definitely recommend going ahead and checking it out at least um, Because the only other way to get one is through the website But uh, all in all not a bad guitar for the money either and if you're interested in this one I'm gonna have it for sale up on the reverb store. That's gonna be it for today Thank you for tuning in to Beckler guitars and repairs and I'll have more for you really soon. Thanks a lot